lunch is taking place in the parish of St. Thomas. A parish that has a strong history. It is a parish that has contributed to the fight for freedom. The 1865 Morant Bay Rebellion was perhaps the turning point in the fight not just for emancipation but for the fight for freedom which developed the country in such a way that the 45 miles walk from Stony Gut to Spanish Town to plead the case not just on behalf of St. Thomas but on behalf of the wider population and so for an important launch of this magnitude to be taking place in St. Thomas is worship it is saying to you and the people of St. Thomas, not because of your size, but there is an importance that is attached to the parish of St. Thomas. And this program, ladies and gentlemen, is one such program that includes every single Jamaican because it speaks about a vision for the country. A vision that all of us must become major stakeholders. We must own this vision because if this vision fails, it is not the government of the day that will fail. It will be the people of Jamaica that fails and failure is not an option because coming back to my seat I heard Dr. Henry spoke about dying <laughs> and that is a part of the vision because we all must die but there's some level of dignity in dying and as a country, we must take these challenges very seriously. The United Nations have been more than a friend to this country. For more than 50 years, they have partnered with successive governments to improve the quality of life for our people. This program is of critical importance to the government. It is about strengthening communities. It has identified the critical areas of the country's need. I like 16. Because if we could have a country that is free, from every form of violence. If we have a country that only demonstrate love, oh, what a beautiful country this country would be.